HISD board hereby declines to allow chaplains to supplant the position or functions of professional or paraprofessional employees. Well, new this morning, you heard it right there. Basically, what that means is chaplains will not be allowed to be hired as paid or volunteer counselors at HISD schools unless they meet the same qualifications as other applicants. That decision was made in a vote yesterday by the HISD board. Victor Jacobo is live at HISD headquarters to explain last night's decision. A lot happening last night, Victor. Yeah, that's right. A lot of focus on this meeting last night with parents really keeping their eyes on this decision. Governor Greg Abbott signed the law last year, which allowed public school districts to hire chaplains as paid or volunteer counselors in public schools without having to meet the qualifications that other applicants are required to have. Now, Abbott and his supporters said that this was meant to help schools, but some were critical of the new law. Under the law, chaplains would not have to be certified by the State Board for Educator Certification as counselors if districts chose to move forward with bringing on chaplains onto their staff. They could provide mental health support and services in schools and implement other related programming. The move would allow districts to address a shortage of counselors, but critics express concerns about chaplains being allowed to bypass qualifications that are required of other applicants as well as bringing in religion in an official capacity on a public school campus. Ultimately, the board voted unanimously last night here at HISD headquarters to reject the hiring of chaplains unless they do meet those certification requirements. Now, school boards across the state have a deadline of March 1st to vote on this decision on whether or not they want to move ahead with hiring chaplains or not, or like HISD here, requiring them to have those application um, requirements and qualifications before moving forward. So we'll keep an eye on other districts in our area as this story moves forward. For now reporting live outside HISD headquarters, Victor Hakobo, KHOU 11 News.